Hello, hello. Okay, cool. Having a little bit of technical difficulties over here, trying to uh, get this set up. Um, you know what? I'm going to be one more second. I'm going to try to get this uh, live stream working on um, on Twitch and Facebook. All righty, everybody. Can you guys see me okay? I'm all uh, set up now. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and hide this up. Okay. So, uh, can everybody see me okay? Doing all right here? Awesome. Okay, cool. What's up, guys? All right, sorry about the delay. I uh, had a few uh, technical diff difficulties, and I'm all set up now. Um, what's up, Last uh, Stand Band TV and the Kill Code? What's going on? I'm good, Last uh, uh, Stand TV. I'm doing well. How are you doing? Hey, what's up, Starman? I'm going to move this over here so I can see how many of you guys are on here and stuff. All righty. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Yeah. So check this out, man. I've got this, uh, I don't know if you noticed, I got this green screen back here, which is pretty awesome. I can put myself pretty much, uh, I can have anything going on back here. I wonder what else I could do for you real fast. Let's see here. I could probably do, um, let's see here. We got another one. Yeah, this is cool. Look at this. I'm like in a blue, moving around in space. Whoa. Yeah. I'm going to do a whole bunch of cool stuff with the green screen. You guys are going to love it. <laughs> right on. Okay, cool. So um, let's do, uh, let's start things off with a little Q&A just to kind of warm things up. Um, oh, nice. You're in the, the Discord. Yeah, you guys should be checking out the uh, Discord right now too because the Discord group is firing off on all cylinders right now. It's pretty, it's pretty happening. I gotta say, like I've never really been into Discord before. This is my first Discord, uh, is the Buildbox one, and it is addicting. Man, it is an addicting chat because there's like always somebody on, and there's like always a chat going. So uh, I think that's really cool. I think you guys should uh, try it out. Um, cool. So we got a, we got like 20 people going on here so far. Not bad, not bad. Um, so hey, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with um, game dev, uh, but. Um, uh, if you guys have any questions right now, now is a good time because uh, I I'm gonna start off kind of slow. I'm just gonna like work on some artwork and just kind of mess around. Game. I don't. I'm not super prepared. Uh, I know I was asked uh, last time to be like a little bit more prepared when I set up my game dev, but it's also kind of nice to see somebody doing it real time and making mistakes and the little. It's the little things, the little adjustments and stuff. Um, okay. So um, let me go ahead and I'll answer a couple questions real fast. Um, so, so first question from, um, yeah, what's up, EP581114? Uh, hello, uh, Mohammed Lechib. Uh, hello, what's up? What's going on with you? Starman, uh, will Buildbox support Vector? Um, yes, eventually, uh, for sure it will. Buildbox 3, is, I think it already does. Um, so that's going to be something that's implemented it's not right now it's not set up for it right now but it will be so yeah that's for sure star man um last stand band my brother stole my money for a bill box license so i'm sad oh man that's 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 a mean brother right there I, I i have a brother too i have one brother and i know how that is he steals money from me all the time all the time he steals money from me um no um uh, just kidding now drag um, why can't you buy Buildbox with PayPal? Um, you know what? Right now, with the way our uh, system is set up, it only works for credit cards, and it doesn't really—it's not set up for uh, debit cards yet. But we're going to implement PayPal and I think debit cards here pretty soon. 
okay? So that people, because some people want to pay uh, with just a debit card and they don't want to have to pay like credit card fees and stuff like that. And then also a lot of, uh, a lot of people really like paying with PayPal because I think that you get, because I was talking to a customer once and they were saying that um, when they, convert uh, when they try to pay and they uh, like they try to convert currencies and uh, exchange um, that they get charged extra and they get charged more so it ends up being even you know it ends up being more expensive which is not cool so we're gonna be working on get, setting up PayPal pretty soon okay um, uh, hey what's up Karim greetings from Morocco right on man good to, good to see you um, ah you know what last Esteban that's all right um, you've got um, We've got the fifteen dollar version right now, so you can uh, just be patient, okay? You got a uh, you got some time on you. You can you can earn some money. You can maybe mow some lawns and stuff like that. That's how I uh, raised money when I was uh, a little younger and stuff. I would I would mow, I would mow lawns. I'm I was good too. I was a landscaper. All right. Uh, hey, what's up, uh, Robert Miner? But your name is actually Tristan. What's going on, man? Glad to glad to see you here. I want to just give you a quick shout out, man. You're uh, you're awesome. I really really appreciate your comments, and I love that you watch our videos. And it really means a lot to me that you dig the software and you dig the videos, man. So I'm glad to have you here for sure. Um, what's going on, uh, Wild Sharing? Hello, Zach. Can you show me how to make the effect like behind the ball in Blue Edge? Uh, thanks in advance. All right, good question. All right, let's go ahead. Let's do that. Um, first off, though, let me check. Let me double check on the uh, on Blue Edge and let's see what the effect actually is, and then um, and then let's try to recreate it with Buildbox. Okay. So I'm gonna pull up a Blue Edge video for you guys real fast. I'm gonna slide this over here, and let's just look for Blue Edge video. Blue Edge video. Yeah. Search there. Hey, what's up, Andy G? Uh, dude, yeah, glad uh, glad you're trying to keep up with all these videos. Yeah, we're uh, we're pumping them out now, aren't we? We've got a lot of things going right now, dude. I don't know if you've been in the Discord, but that thing is nuts, dude. There's like at least a thousand people in there right now, and like there's almost always like there's always like at least like a hundred that are live and talking all uh, like all day. It's pretty. It's pretty sweet. I gotta say, I'm I'm a big fan. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at Billbox. So let's take a look at Blue Edge and uh, see what's going on with the. Because um, there's a whole bunch of different stuff. Like each I'm one of the characters. Oh God. Out of the purple, dude. You see these commercials all the time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you've got a little bit of dust particles. Okay. Cool. Let's go ahead and just do that. All right. Now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of here. Let's go ahead and bring in, uh, open up build box. You know what, I think I might have a good uh, asset here that'll work for this. Um, let's try racing. I haven't seen what racing looks like. This will be kind of fun. And what we'll do is we'll create a little bit of, um, uh, we'll create the effect, the trail effect, the blue edge trail effect on there. Um, and uh, let's see here. Okay, so real fast, let's take a look. So this uh, preset here, the racing preset, let's see how this one's set up. Okay, so we already have like a little trail going on, but I think we might be able to get away with even, we might be able to do a little bit better. I think this is a trail, let me double check on this. So I'm gonna exit out of here, I'm gonna go into my world, um, let's check out the um, the character, the main character. Okay, so it doesn't have anything connected to it. So the trail's not set up here. So what it is is the uh, the little character must have a trail set up in the default animation. And give me one second, guys. I have a little bit of a cold, so I'm gonna be coughing every once in a while. <coughs> All right, that's enough of that. So, okay, so I can see a little trail. Now let's see what's going on with this thing. Okay. So here's the little trail, zoom in so you guys can see it. Now we've got the main character here, we've got the trail, and we've got a particle emitter, and let's take a look at the particle emitter. Okay, so this is what's doing this. Alrighty, so, hmm, let's do some, let's mess with the particle emitter, because I don't think you can get away with doing the blue edge effect with a trail. 
I mean, trails are cool, and that's what creates that kind of like waviness, you know what I mean, with the um, uh, when you saw in the Blue Edge video. But you want what it's actually doing um, in the Blue Edge video, it's shooting out little puffs of smoke and stuff like that, little uh, like little smoke puffs. So I bet we could do something like that. Um, you know what might be fun? Let's try to, uh, so I'm gonna exit out of this. I'm gonna get rid of this trail business here. I'll keep the character above here, but I'm gonna select the uh, particle emitter and mess with that. So I'm gonna click edit on the particle emitter and let's take a look at the stats on this bad boy. So it's got 30 total particle emitters and okay, in the blue edge thing, it's not really going left, right, left, right, and all that stuff. It's going like straight behind the character. And then as the character moves, it, it kind of it kind of shifts. So let's go ahead and switch up the angle so that it is not at 45. I'm gonna switch it up to zero. So you should be seeing them come straight back. Okay, great. And then also the lifespan is we need to make it so that it's getting significantly smaller. So first off, the start size is a little bit too small. I would say something like, uh, come on, let's do something like 50. That might even be a little bit too big. Let's do 40. Let's take a look at that. Okay, cool. And let's vary it up just a little bit, maybe like five and five on the variation here, because you can see here what this does, in case you guys don't know, this is the randomizer, okay? So right now it's set at negative uh, 90 degrees, like on an X and Y axis, okay? So it's going down, uh, going negative 90, now um, in the Y direction, which is why you're seeing the uh, image go straight down, okay? But when you add a, like an, a variant of five degrees, it's going to go uh, switch between between five degrees uh, um, left or uh, positive five and negative five so it's going to kind of do a little bit of this thing going on and I don't know if you uh, if you follow that okay so now let's go ahead and you know I think we could even do go away with ten let's see how that looks you don't want to go too much okay cool I like it let's see what blend additive looks like no nah, I don't like the blend additive let's do emission rate let's increase it let's do something like 25 that's too high. That's too high. That's, uh, let's do 15. Yeah. Okay, so that's better. And then uh, there's something else that I'm missing here. Okay, because the I, I like that the end size is shrinking down, but there's I think the life is a little bit long. You know what? Let's, let's see what this looks like first, guys. Let's actually check this out and uh, keep the particle emitter as is, and then we'll find out if it's working for us or not. So I'm gonna exit out of this. I'm gonna go ahead and press play. And okay, so now it's, yeah, this is a little better. Why is it, uh, oh, when I move too fast, interesting. Okay, no, it's okay, it's all right. It seems to, when I move, it's, uh, let's increase the emission rate on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this. By the way, I'm gonna hit save, and uh, I'll, oh, shoot. Um, you know what I'm gonna do is I'll save it as something. I'm gonna go over here, save as, and we'll name it uh, uh, Racing 2. So I'll go with uh, save, save as, Racing 2. I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. Or actually I'll save it in my BB Docs over here. I have a BB Docs folder. Okay, so, cause I like to save a lot when I'm working with BuildBox just in case I do something screwy and uh, yeah. By the way, is uh, can I just ask, um, are you guys seeing me okay? Is like the quality of the video all right? And is my sound okay? Can you guys like hear me okay? Because uh, I'm gonna ask you guys this real quick because last time we were having problems with it being like the stream quality wasn't great. So can you guys let me know real fast if you guys are seeing me okay? Let's see here. Okay, great. Thank you guys. Awesome. I just want to make sure. Okay, cool. Let's get back to doing some doing some Q and A here. All right, now, okay, interesting. So when you collect the dots, okay. You know what, also I'm gonna change the emission rate again. So go back here, I'm gonna move my character, zoom in here so you guys can see, and player, move it up, emission rate, let's change that to, zoom in here, let's change it to 20, and then start size, start spin. You know what would be kinda cool? Let's do uh, let's do a spin of like I don't know twenty five. 
Yeah, I like that. End spin. Let's do 30. So it spins. Oh, that's great. Oh, let me see here so you guys can see. So it's going to actually spin as it's uh, coming out. Okay, cool. Speed is all right. Um, let's, yeah, that's okay. Let's, let's go with that. All right. I think we're okay. Now let me go ahead and uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. So I'm going to exit out of this and I'll go ahead and do it right here. Now I'm going to exit out of this. Let's save. And then I'm, we're going to play it. And this is roughly how you do it. Now, I can also show you how to do Like, basically all you want to do is you want to uh, go into an illustrator and get like a circle uh, um, tool and turn the opacity down. Just do a couple dots of like clouds. You know what I mean? And then um, and then it'll look even better. Like I could, I could probably whip that up pretty fast on the... Uh, yeah, it's you know what's interesting is that the emission rate does isn't consistent. How can I get this emission rate consistent? Because I really want it to just stay going. Um, okay, start size, end size, radial acceleration, position relative. Okay, free. I think. Yeah, you know what? Uh, let me look. Hmm. Turn the turn the life down a little bit. Okay, you know what I could do is I could try to create a second one and have the emission rate be uh, like ten or something like that. And then let's see if this is just consistent now. Do you see how when I added the second one, how, okay, because here's the here's what I'm talking about, guys, just in case you guys are curious. What it was doing was it was shooting out 20 and then stopping. And so then the animation would stop, which that sucks, okay? It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. What I want is a constant flow, just choo 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 okay? So that it looks legit, you know? So uh, that's why I just doubled up particle emitter, just did a second one. And, and, it, and it, as you can tell now, it should be, uh, it's like consistently shooting out, shooting out, shooting out, because one, when one is not emitting, the other one picks up the slack, okay? So now let me go ahead and exit out of this and test this out. So I'm gonna move you over here again, I'm gonna exit this, and then let's go ahead and press play. And then now it should really, yeah. Okay, cool. I need to just probably move it, uh, down the particle emitter down I realize now yeah okay cool let's let's do one last little change I know I've been taking a while to uh, go over this with you guys but we'll do one last little change and we'll take a look at it and then we're done all I need to do is see what's happening is before what was happening is that the particle emitter because I put the particle emitter up above the other one it was kind of starting in front of the character and that doesn't look smooth, okay? Uh, we're big into details here. So that's why it takes a little bit, it takes it long to get it dialed in just the way you want it to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer this particle emitter over the other particle emitter. It'll solve that problem. So now let's take a look. So I'm gonna put the character back over here and let's see. It should, it should look amazing and as I'm moving it shouldn't be cut at all. Yeah, do you see how now it's just like really smooth? Um, it, so I hope, um, okay, so who was the one who asked this question? Let me double check real quick. Um, the person who asked this question was um, Wild Sharing. Can you show me how to make effects like the ball and blue edge things in advance? Um, wild Sharing, does that kind of cover? Do you, you, you guys kind of see what I'm going for now? Like you layer a couple particle emitters and so you get that s nice smooth effect and then as you can see, I'll just show you real quick again. Uh, it's it's got kind of a nice look, a nice feel to it, and uh, and it looks smooth as I'm like going ham on the on the controls, like going side to side to side, and it's still it's still consistent, it's still smooth. So um, I hope you like that, man. All right, now let's let's keep ask, uh, answering a couple questions. All right, now let's see here. Next question on the list: Who do we got? Who do we got here? Corey Chahays, yo Zach, 
when will bb have gamepad support want to create some steam games dude that's sick okay um you know we should be having some uh gamepad uh, support like probably like in a few months because it'll that'll be something that'll probably be in bb3 i imagine we'll have because we'll have controller support so i don't see why not why we wouldn't have gamepad support as well um kind of depends i think controllers are going to be first gamepad might not be the highest on the priority list but it'll be in there okay um starman can we get more sneak peeks of the new node system you know what i can't do um too much uh on the new node system for bb3 starman uh but um uh, but I'll let you guys know this. Um, Nick is working super hard on it, and he's close, and he's smooth. And I have seen a couple little videos and stuff, and I can't really show you guys because he would get upset with me. But uh, but it's it's awesome. It's so awesome. There's this one game that he's making right now that just like it blows my mind. It makes me wanna I want to work on it with him. I have I gave him a couple ideas and stuff like that. But um, I it's like. It's one of those games that's like so exciting you just want to be a part of. It's freaking awesome. Okay. Uh, Rept uh, Robert Miner, what's up? I mean, Tristan. Um, good, to, good to see you here. Uh, Reptilian Soldier, Spiritual Warriors Clan. Wow, that is a heck of a name. Um, yeah, he's here. So what are you teaching today? Um, I've got a couple. Oh, Envision uh, uh, Productions. You skipped me. What's the ETA on the iOS publishing tutorial? All right, Envision Productions. Dude, you know what, man? That's like something that I have to do on the weekend because it like it just like takes up my whole day to put that that uh, that uh, tutorial together. Like it's important to me that we get that we do that for sure. Um, I am all about it. Okay, I'm like I definitely definitely want to uh, set that up for you. So I'm thinking I'll do that this weekend. Oops, I just hit my chair. Um, so I'll do that this weekend. Okay, I'll I'll that's what I'll do. I'll put together. I'll start putting it together. I don't know. It, it, it might even take me like more than a couple days. It's a you're asking for like the most difficult, the most comprehensive tutorial for sure. It, and it, you know what though, you're right. It, it, people want to see it. You're not the only one, and it needs to be done. So you know what? I, I got a lot of other stuff that I work on throughout the day. I think you guys might have seen. I just posted another video, um, another real short tutorial, and. Um, we got like I've been working on getting the game jam set up and all like a bunch of other stuff. Discord, there's we got a lot going on right now, so I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll tackle that this weekend, man. All right, um, okay, clips. Uh, what's up now? When will the next big update to Buildbox be? Um, probably uh, like the week of uh, May seventh. You know how I, I think May seventh is Monday, and then we're that week we're gonna have an update to you guys, and it's gonna be awesome. Um, okay, now let's see here. Where is my, where am I at here? Um, okay, when will the next big update be? Reptilian Soldier. Um, just I was just teaching how to do the Blue Edge Trail, so that's one cool thing that we just went over. And then if you want to, uh, uh, Reptilian Soldier, if you want to check out that tutorial I made too, just like a few minutes ago, like right before the live session, I shot out uh, one other tutorial, and that's how to. Um, somebody was asking me how to make characters have like uh, be like cost money. Like basically, how do you like if you have multiple characters and you worked really hard on one character, how do you make it so that one care like one of those characters you can charge money with an in-app purchase? And so I show you how to do that real fast. It's like lightning fast. Um, but you do kind of have to get the store identifier. Watch the video. You do have to get the store identifier from the Play Store or the App Store on that too. Um, okay. Um, Hi, give a thumbs up. You're not teaching, just chatting. <laughs> all right, man. I I'll get back. I'll get back to teaching. All right. I just I want to ask you guys what you guys want to see, and then I teach. Okay. Um. So I'm kind of warming up. I'm not super prepared on the game dev stuff today. I was working on other other things, but I, I'm happy to answer your guys' questions and be available to you guys for help. All right. Um. Mr. Trueform, I'm the one who asked about the in-app purchase. Can't wait to learn, dude. Awesome, dude. I'm glad that you're uh, gonna see that. That's super cool. Um. Subscribers won't use Buildbox and they won't give me to show them. All right, thank you for free learning. Heck yeah! And uh, let's see, real quick, real qu uh, question. I like the fact that we can see you without the big square box blocking the gameplay. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, all right. Now, can someone make the movement speed dynamic uh, with some kind of acceleration? Hmm. That one's uh, 
I have to ex uh, I don't you have to give me a little bit more on that one. Uh, yeah, leave hiding feed. Where can we get extensions for Buildbox? Um, right now we don't have like extensions, but you can get like BB docs and stuff like that. Um, uh, with um, you can get on the forums and stuff like that. There's there's some websites that give them away for free. I think like uh, onehitgamer.com gives away free templates, bill, uh, free build box templates, which is pretty awesome. Um, basically, the forum and Discord, you're probably is probably your best bet to get like a couple. Uh, they're not quite extensions, but they're like free BB docs. Um, okay, how did you fix the red color at the top? Um, not sure. What is the bundle ID and is it important to create one? You need to have a bundle ID. Let me go ahead and show you guys real fast. So bundle ID is over here. Uh, I'll zoom in here if I, or actually I can't, uh, but um, bundle identifier goes right here. And the way it's set up is it's uh, set up so that it is, um, I'll zoom in down here. Okay, so it is set up with com, then company name and game name. That is how you do it, and it's super important to have. Uh, it's super important to have your company name and game name, and you, it's super important to have a bu bundle identifier because that's what uniquely identifies your game. It uniquely distinguishes your game. Okay, um, let's see here. Um, now, is Billbox getting multiplayer option? Uh, Billbox three will have multiplayer option for sure. Uh, Zach, will you publish your space game? Would love to try it. You know what? I should republish it. I'll, I'll, I'll make a couple tweaks to it, and then I'll, I'll republish it. Um, hey, thank you so much, Master Tube. Uh, that's awesome. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to stop answering questions uh, for a little bit. I'm going to just do a little bit of my own game dev, okay, for like, I don't know. It's already been like 30 minutes. I'll probably do, um, probably do like, yeah, about another 30 minutes or something of my own game dev. Now, bear with me, okay, because I'm not super prepared. And uh, um, I, it takes me a while to make artwork, dude. So let's see. Let's see if I can snag a couple of Danny's artwork. Okay, Danny Scott is such a good artist. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, steal steal some of his artwork. Don't tell him. All right. Um, so let's see here. I'm gonna pull up my game. Give me a second here, guys. Okay. Let's do. No, that's the Blue Edge remake. I want uh, BP Docs. Where are you, little stinker? Why does it have the, oh, I know what it is. Okay, that was the iOS folder. Okay, so let me pull up my BB doc here. Now nah, I'm not gonna save changes. Okay, you guys wanna learn, you guys don't want me to listen, listen to me talk like a bunch of, on a bunch of stuff. Let's go ahead and just, let's, let's see me develop here. Okay, so what do we got so far? We've got these orange spikes coming out, and we got this little pit that I made, which is kind of cool. And then I don't know what the heck I was doing with this menu jump, but I'm over that. Um, now let's go ahead and let's see if I can't make. Let's check. Let's check this out right now. As it stands, I want to see where we're at with this. Okay, well that's not that's not good. Those those are layered on top, and they should be underneath. So let's see here. So pit cover is right here it's fixed and yeah it should be fine oh 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 i know what's happening i know exactly what's happening they're connected they cannot be connected because then they share the same uh layer hierarchy so let's test that out now it's going to work great booyah okay the only problem is is that they uh are sticking out a little bit, which I don't like. So let's go ahead and fix this real fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and move you down. I'm gonna move you down. I'm gonna move you back and you back. Come on, move with me. Now let's now let's take a look at it. Okay, the one of them is still uh, being a little funky. I don't like this one this one this one needs to come down considerably okay yeah there it is okay cool and then the spikes let's take a look at the collision shapes the collision shapes aren't bad yeah okay probably I could probably bring down the collision shapes on this uh, a little bit as well so I'm gonna change the collision shape on my gray spike 
I'm gonna zoom in here so you guys can see. It's changing collision shapes is super easy. You just move your nodes down, move your nodes around wherever you want them. Okay, cool. So that's gonna fix my collision shape on these guys. Awesome. So I'm gonna hit save real fast. <laughs> is it possible to save a high score? Oh yeah, super easy to save a high score. You know what? Let's uh, here I got an idea. Let's add a quick label to this bad boy. Let's do that real fast. Okay, so I'm gonna exit out of this world, I'm not doing this world anymore. I'm gonna go to here to my UI. I'm gonna lock this down. I'll add in a label here, bring in a default font. Um, I'll keep the score as score. I'll keep uh, um, I'll keep the score type as yeah score. All worlds, yeah all worlds. No 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 no. I want it to be current world, and then I want it to be uh, distance. Ah, distance and current and we'll do center alignment we'll do let's let's make a let's make a special font real fast if you guys don't mind if you guys don't mind like adding in a quick font so this is a new font I'm gonna just I'm gonna fix it up real fast um what color do you guys think it should be you guys cool with orange I'm gonna do an orange one orange font orange font and um, Let's see here. Let's see. Come on. What's a cool font? Uh, I know Avenar Next is pretty awesome. I like Avenar or Avenir. Uh, you know what? Let's do Baghdad. I haven't. I've never done Baghdad before. All right. Now I'm gonna make the main color be uh, orange. Kind of do a lighter orange, or no, a deeper, darker orange. Hit OK. Do a gradient color of a much, much lighter orange. Much lighter. Um, that's OK. And ooh, that's too much. That's too much. Uh, let's let's do something like let's do a much lighter uh, color. Like I'm thinking. Uh, let's first off, let's make this bigger. Jesus, it's hard to see. OK. So I'm thinking something like this, like a much softer, less saturated orange. And there it is. That kind of looks a little better. I like that better. Okay, cool. I'm going to keep that. And let's put this up right here dead center. Um, and then this will be distance. And then here's what you do. This is actually a cool thing that you guys should definitely pay attention to. This is a good little trick, okay? So with the, with the world thing, you want to change your score multiplier to like, because this is what's gonna affect your distance, okay? So if I have my score multiplier set to one, the distance, let me just show you. When you have the score multiplier set to one like this, it's the distance is gonna be like like super fast, way too fast, okay? So we're gonna have to slow it down. But let me show you real quick so you can see the difference. Okay, watch, look and see the number, it's just going nuts up there. Oh, you know what, I forgot to do my uh, special font. What the heck? All right, real fast, let me switch up the font. So I'm gonna go back here, go to my label, and then change the font to orange font. Can you guys see that? Okay, cool. So orange font is good. Now, do you guys see what I'm talking about though? How the distance is just like going nuts, like just way too fast, like nobody wants that. So let's slow it down to something like, I think it's like 0 0.05 or something, like really slow it down. And that kind of creates that one 1,000, two 1,000. Oh, that's still too fast, whoa. So it's got to be like 0 0.005. Let's see how this goes. 0 0.009. Let's try that. Two, three. Still too fast, in my opinion. Let's do 0 0.003 up here. Let's play it. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000. All right, now it's a little slow. I don't like that. Let's change the. Let's change it up. Let's do. Uh, do 0 0.05 and I want to time it one more time one 1,000 two 1,000 three 1,000 dang it dude that point that like 1,000th place makes a heck of a heck of a difference let's do three nine get a little closer one 1,000 two 1,000 three 1,000 four 1,000 yep I love it all right cool I like it now uh, let's see here 
So that's cool. That's that's awesome. I don't. Something's up with the font. Do you guys notice that it has like this little uh, like gray or black background or a uh, liner around it? I'm gonna do no the stroke. Okay, I don't. There's something off with the uh, the font on the sh like on the shadow size. Let me get it up here a little bit. Let me see if that fixes it. Cause I think I might have gone a little bit too dark. Okay, score orange font. Here we go. And you know what I'm gonna do after this? I'm gonna do another trail. Okay, I love it. Thousand five six. Okay, cool. And you know I'm gonna go a little bit bigger on the font. I decided just make it, just stretch it out a little bit, and then recenter it. And let's try that. Yeah, that's better. There's still something going on with the line of that. I wonder if it's the font type. I wonder if I chose something other than Baghdad, if that would uh, fix it, probably. All right, well, anyways, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I wanna make a little trail for my character. So, um, I think I got a little, hmm, let's do, let's just do a little ball like this. Let's try a little, a little ball. Give me a second. So, come on, exit out of this stuff. So we'll go to my character, go to my car. I'm gonna name the character Ball instead of uh, Car, because I use using the racing, uh, uh, the racing racing preset. So that's why I was there. So let's go into the uh, animation editor. Let's take a look at this ball. Let's add in a particle emitter. Super easy. Just drag it in. Little particle emitter. Throw it underneath. Got to make sure your particle emitter is underneath. And we'll edit it. Uh, this is the way it looks when you, whenever you start off with a particle emitter, it always has these stock particles, which is actually pretty cool. Like, all you have to do is change the color, like the color overlay. Like, you know what? Let me just show you. Let me show you how much you can get away with just using the particle emitter that comes in default, that comes stock with Billbox. Okay, because it's actually pretty legit. So uh, let me uh, switch this angle around. Okay, so I'm gonna move you down right here. So the angle is gonna be is at 90 degrees, which is why it's going straight up. Let's uh, switch that up. So, um, and I'm gonna show you guys so that it's right here. Okay, see how it's going straight up? Do not, I do not like that. All right, I want to make it go down. So negative 90, and then we'll have a little bit of play. Let's change the color of this to orange. Yeah, let's do orange. So we got little uh, little colors and it's like even fire. It looks like fire. Ooh, I kind of like that. Let's do a, a higher emission rate too. Let's do uh, like, shoot, let's do 90. Yeah, I like that a lot. And then I want to speed, I want to increase the speed a little bit because they're kind of slow for my taste. Yeah, let's see what the speed looks like on that. Yeah, the speed is big. So let's do that. And then also I'm gonna increase the angle. I want it to spread out just a little bit more. So I'm gonna do five, a 50, 15 on the, um, on the particle spread. And then let's do a little bit higher of particle. In, uh, ooh, Jesus, I did 2000 instead of 200. That was a lot. Okay, now there we go. Yeah, that's better. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead. I'll put this right here and then you know what let's just test this out and see if it were if it looks good and I might layer on one more particle emitter here in a little bit um, so zoop, zoop. let's hit save because whenever you're doing a bunch of work it's good to save make sure you don't lose your stuff um, and then uh, yeah Oh, dude, the assets are sick. The You know what's cool? I actually made all of these assets. Uh, I made the little spikes. I made the little pit. I made the little ball. I made everything that you see here. And, I, and I'm and i not the greatest artist. This is like, and it didn't really take me too long either. Um, and it's it, it's kind of cool as you can use a lot of the stuff from the software. You know what would be cool? Uh, I was just thinking about this. You see the little light? Let's switch up the color of the light so that it's kind of more of a red color, a deeper maroon. Like I kind of want, yeah, something like a darker red. Yeah, there it is. That looks a little bit more sinister. Yeah, I like it. All right, let's see what this looks like now with our current uh, setup, because I want to see if that particle emitter that I just implemented looks any, like, looks any good. Why did I just do? 
All right, and I also, down here at the bottom, just so you can see, when you hit S, um, there is, it, you can do, when you hit S on your keyboard, you can, it's like, uh, it stands for singling out a scene. If you wanna just test one scene over and over and over again and get that one scene dialed in, you hit S on your keyboard, and then I just hit S again, so it's now it's gonna randomize. All right, now let's check out this. Okay, yeah, you know what, that's a little fast. That's definitely a little fast. And I want it to be bigger. Oh, I like the red light, although it's a little bit big for me. So let's take the light, let's take the light down. Let's do a radius of like 2.5, like half of that, or maybe three, let's do three. Okay, now let's also fix the particle emitter because I don't like that particle emitter at all. I can do better. Zoom in here. Drag it over here. Okay. Let's go ahead and I'll do, yeah, I need to do one more. I pasted, uh, created a second particle, particle emitter, which is really nice because when you layer put a couple particle emitters like on top of each other, you get like this added blend effect. So let's do something like uh, 50 emission rate, 60 emission rate. And also, I'm gonna slow down the speed. I was wrong about that speed thing. Like, it really doesn't need to be that high. I'm thinking like 50. Because you know why? The character's already moving fast. So it's like, what's the point? What's the point of having it move even faster? And, dude, that looks sick. Like, you guys seen this right here? Like, the uh, that little flame uh, that comes right at the bottom looks pretty damn good. Um. Yeah, let's see here. I'm gonna exit out of here. Um, dude, I wonder what happens if we layer one more on top of each other. I bet it, it will seriously look like a flame. All right, let's check it out, guys. It's still moving so fast. I don't like that. I don't like that it's moving that fast. All right, and I also don't like, I don't think that it's spreading out enough. I wanted to, I wanted to kind of spread out a little bit more. So uh, let's fine tune this thing. Hang in there with me, guys. I want to get this thing perfectly set up. Okay, particle emitter. Let's do two. One like this. One like this, maybe. And I think the speed is a little, little fast for my taste. Um, let's do 30. Let's bring it way down. 30. And then... Um, Yeah, so let's see here. That looks good. It's a lot slower. Can you guys tell it's a lot, a lot slower? And it's kind of kind of deceiving uh, on here because when you play it, it's way faster. Also, I'm gonna do a variance on the angle of 30 because I want it to spread out more. Um, if you guys uh, think, and, and let me know if you guys think this is cool. If it looks like, you know, if it looks like, you know, poop, then let me, then tell me that too. I, uh, I'll, I'll be brutal, be absolutely brutal with your opinions. Break my heart. I can take it. I got thick skin. I can handle it. Um, all right. Now let's see what this looks like. It's still so fast. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna switch this up one more time. I'm gonna make a couple. I like the spread out though a little bit better. So let's see here. Particle emitter. I'm gonna move a little bit, recenter it just a little bit, and then I'm gonna do. I'm gonna not do the blend thing. Let's see what this looks like. And I'm gonna slow it down even more. Let's do 15 on this guy. 15 on this guy. Cause it's it's just coming off really fast, and it makes it, it doesn't seem to flow for me, in my opinion. I'm gonna save again real quick. Um, hey guys, I'm only gonna be doing this for like another like 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna get back to answering your guys' questions. Because I gotta say, it really helps me just talking to you guys, and you guys give me ideas on like tutorials to do, like things to teach you guys. It's really important that you guys give me your feedback and talk to me here, cause it's super useful. You guys are helping me out, all right, and, and it helps me help you, all right. So. Let's check this out. Ooh, that's an ugly color. No, I don't like that. That's a that's a much deeper red than I was expecting. 
Let's do something. You know what? I can do that. I, 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 I know what to do. Okay, cool, cool. I got it. I got it. I'll keep the blending. I did like the blending. I'll be honest with you. I like the blending, guys. I liked it. It was it was a nice blend. Um, but uh, but the start size, that's what it is. I need to do like hundred or something, or like maybe not a hundred. That's a little bit much. That was a little bit crazy. I wasn't expecting it to be that big. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna go one more uh, particle emitter and just layer it right there. And now it should be pretty sweet. Dude, that looks awesome. I love these particle emitters. You, if you get, you know what? You wanna talk about good development, all right? You wanna know the trick to good development with, uh, with BuildBox? Get good at the particle emitters. Get good at making those particle emitters like work in any way you want. It's probably the coolest thing that we've got built into the software is the range of design and development you can get out of those darn particle emitters. Like Danny is a wizard. Danny is a wizard at working with the particle emitters. So um, I, I love it. Okay, is it just me or is it still not centered? Like, I, I don't know if you guys are noticing it. I'm gonna kind of like, zoom in here so you guys can so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about but check this out see how it's off to the side I don't like that like I don't I really am not crazy about that so let's 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 fix that one more time here and I could probably I could probably just get away with moving this over here to the side let me see, show you what I mean if I just all I do is I select the particle emitter and then I hit the little thing with my keyboard and I move it to the left because I, I probably don't have it centered in the actual uh, particle emitter designer. Yeah, there you go, that's what I'm talking about, center it. All right, now the other thing I'm not crazy about is the, I mean, this is the last change we're gonna make, by the way. Um, I'm gonna make the radius, the, um, the, the randomizer on the angle a little bit higher. Like I want it to go, I want it to go 45. I want it to go out and the other way. So it's a full 45, 45 going both ways. Heck, I'll do 50. I'll go crazy. Just go nuts with it. Um, do 50. And this one, do 50. And now you should be like spreading out. Okay? Yeah. That's cool. I'm going to even go like five on these. I'm going to really slow this down. Okay. And you know what I think I might do is I might slow this the speed down to like five as well. Here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. I'll do 10 on the speed with a five randomizer, which makes it switch between five and 15. Okay, that's the solution here. So five uh, speed, set it to 10 with a five randomizer. It'll, it'll do it. It'll do it perfect. Five, uh, let's do 10 and five. And then there we go, there we go. Ooh, yeah, look at that flame. Dude, you could probably make the like the sickest little fi campfire with, uh, oh, you know how to go, uh, Ben Font, the guy from the forums, he released this great skiing game that got featured by Apple and he made these little fire pits, these little campfires in the snow, like in the mountains. Um, best campfires, I love those little, they're like a little, kind of more pixelated, but legit, legit. All right, let's go ahead and Exit out of here. I'll save one more time. Um, yeah, yeah. So just a quick question. I just noticed, shablam, uh, particle emitters come with BuildBox. It's like built into the software, and you can. And I didn't even met, I didn't even drop in any images. There's no artwork or anything like that. I just affect. I just change the color of the particle emitter, the particles that we give you, and it's, so it's really cool. All right. Yeah, you know, I can kind of dig this. There's something, there's still something missing about it that I don't like. Uh, like I want it to go just a little bit outwards more. I'm gonna, this is, okay, I am done after this. I am done with switching it after this because I, I know you guys are getting bored watching me just switch this over and over again. I'm gonna switch it, I'm gonna go 90 in each direction. There's no way that it can't be spreading out now. It's got to. With a nine, with a ninety degree variation on the randomizer, that should for sure uh, be going all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's. Oops, I didn't mean to copy another one. Let's save this. Let's get rid of this. Save it one more time. Um, 
Oh, dude, what's up, game gamer Chris? It's Weller fifty nine from the Buildbox Discord server. What's going on, man? You're the you're the you're the admin there, dude. You're awesome. I love you, brother. Okay, come on, let's check this out now. You know, I know what it is now. It's the it's that the character is moving so fast that uh, the um, yeah the character is moving so fast that the spread is not really registering as well. And um, okay, I like it. Yeah, I kind of like that light too, that red light. Although I'm gonna probably turn the opacity down on that light just a little bit. Um, yeah, watch this. All you have to do if you want to change the opacity on a light, you just turn, go to the color and then yank down the opacity, like something like that. And so it's gonna make it even lighter. All right, now I'm gonna save it one more time, and then you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just I just want to see how that light changed. And then I'm gonna, it's then I'm gonna get back to answering guys' questions real fast. Okay. So I'm gonna test this out. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to create. Yeah, just do that. Yeah, much better, much better, much better, much better, much better. All right. And you know what I'm gonna also do? I'm gonna lower it just a little bit more. Yunk, 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 yunk. Down, 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 and we're good. Okay, cool, and turn off connection mode. I don't know why I have that on, and I'm gonna lock up the background, and awesome. Okay, cool. All right, guys, let's answer some questions. <coughs> okay, um, I'm gonna scroll back up. Give me a second, guys, I gotta catch up with you guys. You guys are, um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I'll mention, all of you guys on here who are chatting away, definitely check out the Discord server. It's awesome. I'm like getting kind of addicted to the chat group. It's 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 fun it's really fun i'm really glad that we set this up and uh you guys are welcome to use the forum too uh but just what it, here's what i would do uh use whatever platforms you want find your favorite and and we're gonna that way we have options for you guys i think the discord server is my favorite <laughs> it's it's kind of my favorite now and i think tr i think trey it kind of feels the same way all right guys i'm gonna take a little bit i'm gonna go back and look at some questions all right, what questions do we have here? Um, how can I make a particle effect for the character and this effect change from another character uh, from another effect when the player gets a higher score? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let me think. Here's I know what to do. I, you have to you have to make it so that the character collects something. Like I have an example here. Okay. Um, let's say. Let's say you're doing a distance meter, kind of like I've got right now, where you can see the further I go, it goes one, two, three, and you get more points uh, the further along you go, okay? So you can set it up so that your um, your scenes are aligned, but at a certain point, all right, at a certain point when the score, when they, they've reached a point and their score is getting high, okay? Then you have them collect a special action, okay? And you have that action like last, like indefinitely, you just have it set to like a ridiculous amount of seconds. Like there's no way it's gonna go, um, and then um, and then it'll hold on to that. So it, it's gonna be a change. Let me show you. Let me show you. Instead of me just talking about it, let me show you what I mean. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring in an action. Does not matter what it looks like because your yours is gonna be invisible. So I got this little checkpoint action here. Uh, it's seriously just a little bar. You guys can see it right here. See, it's just a little gray bar. And I'm gonna drag it in, and I'm gonna. It's gonna be an action type. And then what I'll do is once I reach the third scene, okay, and I'll have the scenes be aligned. All right. So, jupe, uh, jupe, jupe. Let's say, let's say I get to the point. Um, hmm. No, I got an. I got another idea. Let's let's co I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna hit D on my keyboard, um, and uh, I'm gonna create another little uh, fourth scene so you guys can see that. Uh, there's a little fourth scene down right here. You can see it. And then what I'll do, I'll get rid of this check this action. What I'll do is I'll have I'll show you how to set up. This is tricky. All right, so guys, pay attention because this is also another really like important thing with game development. It's it's. It's something I highly recommend you do it. This is like this is what the pros do. Okay, this is like this is a pro move. All right, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna create a little action. 
probably turn on debug mode. I'm going to turn the opacity down. You know, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I'll keep it fine. I'll keep it saturated for right now. But um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to align my scenes up. All right. So first, I'm going to go up to the corner. Go to edit. Align scenes. Sweet. That's awesome. Okay. Now, or 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 you know what? Even better. Uh, I'll randomize the scenes. No, you know what? Uh, this is what I want to get to. Okay, so first the scene is randomized from here to like let's say a distance of like three thousand pixels or something like that. Okay, so I'm setting my. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and move me over here on this one. So bottom left, I don't. I'm getting in the way. I don't like that. I do not like that. I'm gonna put you right over here. I'm gonna put myself right over here. Okay, now you guys can see. So I'm going to yank this stuff over right about here. Okay. And then yank this guy back. And then here's what's going to happen. At the fourth scene, all right, like once your character, now try to follow along with this because it's kind of difficult. It's a little it's a little uh, it takes a little bit of finesse. Okay? Your if you look, you'll see that Bet between the scene one, two, and three, it's all randomized. Okay, so um, and I might I'm gonna turn the start down. Actually, I'm gonna bring the start over here because like, who cares about the start scene? Um, okay, now so when you go to two and three, all right, it's going to uh, randomize uh, the between the scenes. So it's gonna choose between uh, but it's gonna choose between scenes one, two, and three, and they're gonna play randomly, right? But then, once you've gone a certain distance, and this is what you're asking, you're like, okay, how, once they've reached a certain score, or they reach a certain point in the game, how can I make that particle emitter change colors? Like, let's say you want it to make it seem like the characters, you know, as they're getting further along, they're heating up and they're, like, catching on fire or something like that. I think, like, uh, definitely Catch Up or Voodoo had a game like that where the basketball was going in, into hoops and as, as long as you like made swishes all of a sudden the basketball would catch on fire and it looked awesome okay that's a pro pro technique okay so let me show you how to do this so you see that I've got this checkpoint set up right so now we just gotta or not not a checkpoint dang it it's an action type so this is going to be change particles change particles okay and now let's do the uh, action animation it's just gonna be, um, dude. I don't even think you need one. There's no, there's no, an, there's no action type. So action animation. Let's um, let's throw the character in. Okay, this is gonna be a little tricky. I gotta nail this right now. So I'm gonna uh, throw it in as an, not an image. Hold on, hold on. I need to layer it over the character, right? So I wanted to, actually I wanted to replace the character. So how do I do that? I'm gonna I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring this orange ball as an object, and I'll have the yeah. So there's the orange ball, and then I'm gonna have the particle emitter in there, and then I'm gonna bring in like a completely. I'm gonna just choose a different example. Okay, there's the particle emitter. I'll edit this up. And it's just going to be purple, all right? And I'll change it so that it's negative 90, all right? And this is going to be a quick example, okay? I'm not going to dial in this particle emitter because you guys saw how long that took me last time. I'm not doing that again, all right? And um, so now what's going to happen is once this object, once the person reaches and they hit that action type, then their particle emitter is going to change and it's going to be awesome, all right? Now let's go ahead and uh, set this up. Let's see here. So we've got the particle emitter changed, and then what I want to do is I want it to replace the character's uh, animation, and um, lastly, uh, I want the duration to be like way long. Okay, super super long. Does not. I mean, you can you want it to be long, all right? So that so that the character like stays with that um, animation and continues to stay with that animation until it reaches another point, another little action type where you change the particle emitter again. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, why does it have the max speed and all this kakalaka here? Um, I'm gonna bring this down. Let's make sure that this all matches up with our current character because if it doesn't, then it's gonna make the character change. Uh, gameplay settings, yeah, 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 it's fine. It's fine, I think. We'll find out, I guess. Um, 
Yeah, like game speed min and game speed max seem way off. Like, why would it be 125? I don't like that. Let me uh, let me double check that. Okay, I'm gonna go up here to the corner and I'm gonna check the game speed. Oh, it's set to 125. No freaking wonder it was moving so fast. Good lord, 125 is really fast, guys. Um, yeah, so I probably sh probably need to fix that. So, but for right now, I'm gonna just leave it because this is the point I want to get across. All right, so here's what's gonna happen. They're gonna you're gonna run into this uh, action type and it's gonna change the particle emitter. Now I'm gonna leave it as is um, so that you can see it, but um, in the uh, and when you actually do this, you're gonna wanna make the opacity be zero so that it's invisible and the character is collecting without even knowing it, okay? So let's go ahead and press play. And you know what, before I, before I do this, I'm gonna hit save real fast. And this again, once again, this is a question that was asked by Michael Cedric, Cedrac, yeah. Um, how can I change it so that the particle emitter changes as I get a higher score? Okay, this is one way to do that. All right, so I've got these scenes set up and I'm going and I'm moving along and they're all aligned, right? And then uh, I'll probably need to move this over here just a little bit. Okay, now it's getting to the point where I hit the action type. My score has gotten high enough. And then look, the particle emitter changes. Okay, and then it's going to, uh, and it'll keep changing. And then what you'll want to do is you'll want to have a whole bunch of other scenes after that. So it only hits that one scene and changes the particle emitter color um, in that one little moment. And then it goes back to a bunch of other randomized scenes. Okay, and this is also a super important technique if you want your game to get progressively harder. Okay, which is super, it's super important. You don't want to throw a bunch of hard levels at your character uh, or your player in the, right in the beginning of the game. You want your player to kind of get into a flow and get into a groove, you know what I mean? So that, uh, so that they're happy and that it, 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 like, it's, it's smooth, it's nice. Okay, so um, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's what you want to do. And, then so, and so what you want to do is you want to either align, this is my recommendation, okay? Because I know you guys want, most of you guys are going to want to randomize your scenes, right? So, and I'm going to just talk to you guys here for a second, okay? Because this is something I want to just make clear. Most of you guys are going to want to have like endless mode where the scenes are randomized, okay? It makes total sense. Everybody does it, right? But, to, but setting up these randomizations and setting up the scenes and randomizing them the right way is key. There's a, there's a way to do it, okay? And so what I recommend, and I'll show you right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move over here. I'm gonna make a couple scenes and just, and just show you guys real fast. So give me a second. So down over here, okay, look, getting back to uh, the, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple more scenes, a couple extra scenes by clicking on four and then hitting uh, duplicate, D, D, D. D, 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 okay, I'm gonna hit a couple more. And so now you can see I've got like uh, eight scenes, okay? Now, let's take a look at the scene editor, all right? See how uh, it's set up so that, okay, here's the fourth scene, all right? You're going, you're randomizing these three scenes, then you get to your fourth scene, and here's what you wanna do. You wanna make your character go through the fourth scene like once, okay? And then make your other scenes randomized as well. And I'll just show you real fast. I get exa I get an example because this is how you, this is how you make your players go through um, a certain amount of scenes that are easy. You have a, a certain amount of scenes that are easy, and those are randomized. Then you uh, then you shift to harder scenes, and those are randomized. And then as the player gets even further and they keep getting better and you know they're moving through your game and it's awesome then you go to another section of randomized scenes where it's super hard and only the, like only the most like awesome players and the mo only the best players can reach those scenes because you've set it up so that they, you, they have to go a certain distance before they can even get to them okay it's it's a killer killer style to set it up and if i was doing and it, i recommend this to everybody do it this style when you're doing endless mode it's just good game development okay so let's let me sh let me finish this out so um you're gonna stretch it out just like this and so i'm gonna move this up here so you guys can see this okay randomized scenes particle emitter change then more harder randomized scenes, all right? And let me show you real fast. I'm gonna move this back down so that you guys can actually see what the heck are you talking about? Okay, so the four scenes, the particle emitter change, 
let's go ahead and uh, move this these guys this guy um, up here make a copy move it down here for a fourth scene this one get rid of this uh, move these guys down make another one boom this is super quick development I mean geez can you believe this it is unbelievable how fast you can do this stuff okay here make another one put it up uh, I don't know right here make these ran scenes randomized delete this delete this these are harder scenes okay these are these are really difficult scenes these are the ones that are gonna go at your end boom 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 ah come on Z control Z get going move 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 I'm an impatient guy and I know you guys are too you guys want to see this thing you want to move on with your lives okay let's do one more come on you little stinker okay what is going on I grabbed all three of you and then I want to move you down simultaneously great cool and then I'm gonna move you down here maybe do one more just up in here in the corner okay cool so here's what's gonna happen we're gonna go through some easy scenes our particle emitter is gonna change it's gonna hit that one scene then it's gonna go to a bunch of other scenes that are really difficult okay and that's how you set that's how you set up a really awesome endless randomization okay let's check it out okay so going through some easy scenes players grooving along okay uh, the players happy they're uh, you know they're getting they're getting into a groove they're getting comfortable and then uh oh you've reached that point where you need to like you know you want to change the particle emitter okay boom there you go now we've got harder scenes now you've entered a much harder situation you see all this other stuff popping up okay there's like way more going on and but it's still randomized okay you don't want to it's it, it still keeps that like like oh what's coming next because if you have your scenes aligned in endless mode and they play the same scenes over and over and over again it's kind of cool but it's gonna get a little bit repetitive it's gonna get a little boring okay so that's why the randomization of scenes is killer also one last thing before I move on to the super I know it's a long-winded explanation but um the other thing that you want to do when you're designing endless um, en endless mode, you got to have at least 100 scenes. I know that sounds like a lot, okay? But if you want your I'm, – and I'm saying this, you don't, you don't have to have 100 scenes, but I would recommend it, okay? I would recommend if you're going to try to pitch a game to a publisher and you want to make some, like, some serious money, okay, and turn this into a business and, and, and really do this right – then you need to have a hundred scenes. You need to have a hundred different scenes that you have, have. You have to have variety, or else people are going to get bored, and they're and you're going to lose retention. It's just not going to work. So, um, and I un unfortunately right now the only version of the software where you can get, have a hundred scenes um, is the indie version or the pro version. And and the indie version keeps you at forty five scenes per world. So you would have to switch between the worlds. So you really want the pro version for this uh, if you're going to. If and, and here's the deal: if you're going to be submitting games to uh, to publishers, to top publishers, then you are a pro. You are a pro game developer, and so you should have the pro version. So, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, answer some more questions real quick for you guys. All right, we got 50 minutes left in the live session. Thank you guys so much for hanging in here. All right, now, um, so that was that was Michael Cedric. I hope that helped. I hope that, I hope that you guys liked that switching particle emitters switching effects and there's lots of things you can do with that you don't just have to have to switch particle emitters you can do tons of effects okay um starman hey zach will you be able to create a dot ioa games with bb3 heck yeah you will heck yeah you will uh dude your stream at the you stream at the perfect time you're the best thanks shablam i'm so glad you think so you know i was talking to a few of you guys and i know the stream doesn't work for everybody i'm glad it works for you shablam but i'm thinking about uh splitting up the the live streams so that it comes sometimes early in the morning because like that's nighttime for some of you guys in different time zones so okay anyways um how do we get a privacy policy oh shnikes um Damn, I don't think I've ever actually done a legit privacy policy. I bet you, I, I know that with Buildbox, you have, we have a lawyer. We have like a lawyer put that together, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. You know what? I Google that. Google uh, creating your own privacy policy because I bet there's a way to kind of hack that like so that you can make your own without having to go like super expensive. Um, okay. Um, 
I can't wait to make my RPG game with BB3. Dude, RPGs are my favorite. I love role-playing games. Oh, my God. You, I'm playing Fire Emblem right now. Frick, dude, I love that game. I, I end, I, I've I been pretty much ending every single one of my nights this week with ending with uh, Fire Emblem Warriors. I don't know if any of you guys play that game at all, but I played it on the 3DS. I just love video games, man. I just love it. <laughs> all right. <coughs> Gotta love that cough. Okay, now let's keep keep reading. Uh, can we make the character have blood like Super uh, Meat Boy uh, stick to the floor? Um, yeah, I, I, I know Super Meat Boy. It's a super great game. Um, let me think about the, that because that blood effect is a little bit specific. You know what? Real quick, guys, I just want to show you Super Meat Boy so you guys can understand what he's talking about. That was a game that did so well. Okay, uh, it performed so well, and it and it took a couple years, I believe, to make. I don't think it was made really fast, um, and it killed. It, it it was it did really well on Steam and stuff. So, um, I'm gonna quickly just pull up a Super Meat Boy video. Super Meat Boy. Super Meat Boy Forever. Oh, dude, such a great game, dude. Who I nine out of ten. Uh, let's look at the teaser trailer. Let me pull this up for you guys. For all the late night... Can you guys see okay? Yeah, morning. I think you guys are alright. You know she's the greatest mom I'm I, ever. Okay, that's enough, mom. Use this her that's enough with the Mother's Day propaganda. That's enough of that. All right, well, are you gonna play the video or just make me wait? Whoa, that's loud. Yeah, okay, so check this out. Where you can grab the walls. Yes, you can definitely do this. Okay. 100% you can do this. And I think I know what it is. It's going to be, uh, it's an advanced move. Yes, it's an advanced move and it happens when you come in contact with certain surfaces. So all you have to do is set it so that certain surfaces, when you come in, when your player comes in contact it with the certain surfaces, it shoots out a uh, an animation. Okay, and that's that's how you're gonna do it. Um, also, it looks like when he's running on the ground, um, it's tra he's got a trail going. I think you could probably leave a trail too. Um, on the ground let me see. you know this is a tough one though to answer like qu to answer quickly i think i want to uh do i think i kind of have to like do a separate video for this because because uh like this is t more technical like this is like you're grab you're jumping on walls and you're leaving stuff behind and everything like that i i i could set this up and i could teach you but it's not it's not like it's not something i can answer right now quickly that's that's a tutorial video it's own separate thing for sure so I'm gonna write that down. Give me a second. That's a good. That's a good question. Hey, uh, are you still on here? Um, uh, Envision Productions. Where are you? Are you still on here, man? Or did you? Okay. Let me uh, ask you guys, because I'm gonna try to work on this 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 weekend. Okay. Would you guys rather see um, a tutorial? On, would you guys rather see a tutorial on how to submit games to the App Store or submit games to the Google Play Store? Okay, tell I want to see your guys's. I want you guys to tell me right now, so that because that's I'm because based off of what you guys say, I'm gonna make it this weekend. But I can only there's there's no way I could do both. There's no way I could I can fit that in. But I could probably get started on one. So if you guys wouldn't mind, give me your guys's thoughts on that. Okay, and I'm gonna write down Super Meat Boy uh, effect. Super Meat Boy trail effect trail effect and that's going to be objects with um those objects are going to have advanced move animations advanced move animations they're triggered they're triggered once you have once you collide with them all right i just gotta do i gotta do that in a separate video man it's like a heck of a question okay um google play everybody says google play 
Dude, envision you're the only one who. Oh my God, man! Everybody else is say, is saying Google Play, and Envision Productions, the one guy who's been bugging me about this, or like you know reminding me over and over to do this uh, tutorial, he's the only one who's saying uh, <laughs> do iOS and do App Store, Android second. Damn it, guys! Ah, you guys are killing me, Smalls. Okay. Um, uh, I'll pro I might have to just because in I owe it to Envision Productions to do it. I, I think I'm gonna have to do. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to do iOS first. I think. I, I, sorry, guys. I I'll, everybody else said Google Play, but uh, Envision Productions is the one that asked first. So I'll do both. I'll do both. But um, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to do iOS first just because Envision Productions said that. All right, cool, guys. All right, sorry, Skull Mix, dude. I'm sorry about that. I know you. I know you said Google Play, but uh, gosh darn it. I know, I know, dude. Like, what the heck? It's not fair. But you know what? It wouldn't be fair to. It wouldn't be fair to the guy who's been, who's actually like making this happen because he's reminding me and staying on me to make this tutorial happen. So I gotta, I gotta do it. Um, how long until Google Google Play? Um, you know what? I'll do it the following weekend. Just give me a week, all right? Let me do the iOS this weekend, and I'll try. I'll do my best to finish it up this weekend. I might not be able to finish the whole thing this weekend. You have to understand, it's kind of a long tutorial, all right? Um, but then, uh, and then next weekend, I'll be doing, um, I'll be doing, next weekend, I'll, I'll do the Android, uh, Google, the Google Play Store, okay? Um, and then after that, I should get, let you guys know, I'm gonna be gone for 10 days. I'm going to Italy uh, for the first time. It's my first time in Europe, so I'm gonna be gone for 10 days. So there'll be a, a kind of like a blackout period, but I'll try to get those uh, both those done before I leave for Italy, all right? And then I'll be back on the 26th getting ready for the game jam. Just in case you guys don't know, for sure, um, you know what, I kinda wanna, I wanna post the link real quick. Uh, give me a second, I wanna show you guys the link uh, to the game jam because uh, dude the game jam is gonna be so much fun I want all of you guys to participate in this okay seriously um, come on now where are you game jam um, yeah okay I'm gonna post this in the connection okay there you go I just th uh, threw up the game jam uh, link all right, you can sign up for the Game Jam right now. Let's see how many we've got signed up so far. So far we've got um, four people signed up, but I just, I just, uh, um, like, I just announced it like two, like a minute before this video. I, I, that was like, I don't know if any of you guys noticed, but I released one tutorial and then went straight into live. Okay. Um, yeah, I already joined the Game Jam. Okay, awesome. One thing I really, really, uh, uh, would like for you guys to do and please this is like this is part of the deal if you want to join the game jam And you want to put in your entries all you need to do is uh, sh Do a shout out like just do announcement like saying like hey I'm gonna be doing the game jam from June 1st to June 3rd anybody want to join and then do hashtag uh, Bill box game jam all right um, and uh, yeah, just do hashtag Billbox Game Jam and uh, do it through uh, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. And if you can just do two out of those three, then that's huge. All right, and then you can then you're totally good to to enter the Game Jam. And it'll be awesome. And just so you guys know, Master Collections worth like three thousand bucks is going to be the prize. All right, and we're going to do uh, also a big homepage feature for you, a showcase feature for you. I'm going to probably do an interview with you guys, uh, the, whoever's the winner. It's going to be awesome and we'll talk about getting you like maybe getting you noticed by a publisher okay because we can kind of help you we can help you out with that but we got to see the game first to make sure that a publisher would go for it okay as long as we think a publisher might push it out hey we'll, well we might work with you all right but i can't guarantee anything i gotta see what the quality of the game is first all right um team michael yt can you call my name out because i have a youtube channel team michael yt i'm calling your name out it is happening right now. Called you out. I called his name out. Everybody heard it. Okay. Um, Skull Mix. A game jam is basically it's going to be three days straight. Three days straight, where you you're going to use the software, use Buildbox to make the best game you can, and uh, and then you're going to submit the game to us, and uh, the best game wins. All right. It's going to be 72 hours. June sec. Uh, June first second and third and we're going to release the theme we're going to release release the theme for the game jam uh the, like one hour before it starts so we're like 
we're gonna release the game the theme and then everybody's got it's like go time like everybody just go for it and develop for th- for three days straight no sleeping just coffee and and going hard and then uh best game overall wins it's gonna be sweet it's gonna be awesome um Dude, yeah, it, like second place is good too. Second place is like a thousand dollar prize. You get Bill Box Pro for a whole year, and we're gonna do a showcase uh, for you. We're gonna do social media, uh, um, a shout out, or a, like a show. Uh, sorry, social media feature uh, for you guys, and it's gonna be legit. It's gonna be awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, and we're gonna release it to us in Discord. I'm gonna re- announce it in Discord too. Um, Gamer Chris. Um, just so you know, man, I, I I didn't have time to release the video or announce the video on uh, on the Discord. So um, because I had to, I like released the video and then I immediately went to live, so I had like no time at all. So I'll throw it up there in the Discord if somebody hasn't already. Um, and, and we're also doing big announcements. I'm gonna do like a big announcement and push out the game jam tomorrow. Okay, but it's gonna be available for everybody. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go back. Uh, and, and you know what, uh, Master Tube? Thank you so much for tweeting the build box hashtag build box game jam. Okay, that's huge. Um, so one second, guys. I want to answer some more questions. Um, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, help me out. I gotta, I, man. You guys are writing a lot. Um, okay, so somebody. Um, Jesus, there's a lot on here. It's hard to catch up. Because you uh, set two particles and didn't center them on the axis. Oh, okay, Lux, Josh. Yeah, I kind of noticed that too. Um, probably needed to center my particle and there's a little bit better. All right. Um, so let's see here. Um, I'm going to just kind of sc- scroll down and, and uh, say hi or uh, choose the next one. Oh, Shablam is asking me for clarification. Is my name spelled Z-A-C-H or Z-A-C-K? And it's spelled Z-A-C-K, kind of like pack or attack or sack or you know what I mean like a that kind of word so it's a c k but a lot of Zach spell it a c h um okay now let me get back to it I know hey zap is better but the problem is the rewarded video shows up shows the ad but at the end of the video the game is crashing and the user didn't get it doesn't get anything really that's weird um you know what I'll be honest with you sometimes hey zap does have problems like that um, and it's not always it's not always necessarily our our fault or our situation you know anything to do with our code it's it's just because like hey zap's a little shoddy um, <coughs> so um, you know what if that's happening to you could you send in your BB doc and your exported game file with all your hey zap uh, ads hooked up and so we can take a look at it like that would really appreciate it do it appreciate it so that we can find out what's going on there because we can determine whether or not it's us or them and you want to any sort of situation like that guys where you're having like some problems with the bb doc or something like that um send it to support at billbox.com that's the email you use send it to support at billbox.com all right um any chance of adding a progress bar in bb um like a progress bar hmm I know that you can do it I for sure know you can do a progress bar but you have to use the font editor you have to do a special font I have a video about how to do that with a health bar okay um, look up on YouTube this is from Envision Productions look on my uh, on the channel look for a health bar tutorial and I teach you how to add a health bar and how to create special fonts that's exactly how you want to do a progress bar okay you want to create a special font and, and then it will, um, and there's also, I think you can get away with it with event observers. There's like a sweet hack that I remember Christoph doing and uh, I'll have to look it up again, but you might be able to do it with um, switching from different event observers. That's what it is. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you have your, you have like an uh, event observer take you to another UI, to another UI, to another UI, and in those UIs, the progress bar is a little bit further along, right? So each time you switch, each time you, your event observer is triggered and you switch to another UI, it'll look, you'll have all the same buttons, but the progress bar will be increased, okay? It's cool, it's a cool thing. And um, you can even have it like set like a timer, like uh, where you have an animation built into it. So the progress bar, it's, it starts right there and then it starts slowly moving down. 
okay and then and you can keep doing that so like let's say you like let's say like it was like a basketball game where you're you're hitting a um or getting it like through a ring or something like that i don't know um and then you, every single time um, ooh, ooh, a great example of this. A buddy of mine was um, was doing like a game where you're collecting air bubbles or maybe um, energy batteries or cells or something like that, and you're running out of battery or you're running out of air. And so as the, so your meter is slowly moving down, and then every single time you collect that action, all of a sudden your 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 meter goes back up. And so, and and then the the part of the game is not only progressing through the game, but also making sure that you have enough air or enough energy to keep playing. Okay, so that's a, I you know what? That's another tutorial I gotta do. That's a good one. That's a good freaking question. Okay, hold on one second. Um, progress bar, progress bar, um, with event observers. Cause I haven't shown anybody how to do that. It's tricky. That's a tricky. That's a pro move for sure. Progress bar with event observers, and then right now though you might be able to get away with it with a health bar. All right, so check out, watch that tutorial though. Definitely watch that YouTube video. Okay, let me keep looking here, guys. Um, oh, you guys wanna see another cool background? A little pixel background? Look at that green screen, that's so awesome. Now I'm, now I'm floating in the ocean now. Okay, that's enough of that, I'm being a goofball. All right, now, how do I get a, pro okay, any chance progress bar? I spell color like that too. Oh, C-O-L-O-U-R, yeah, 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 like color lovers. Uh, Gamer Chris, one of the questions from the Discord server was a user was having a problem with getting the end right. So it would check for 100 coins and go to menu 1. If it doesn't have the coin, go to menu 2. Let me think. Let me think about that. Okay. Is user having a problem with getting the end right? So it would check for 100 coins and go to menu 1. And if it doesn't have the coin, go to menu 2. Can you tell me more about the problem he was having? Like what specifically was happening with the problem? It sounds to me like I know what he's trying to achieve, but I don't know where he's going wrong. See, that's the trick, as I need to know like how he's messing, how it's being messed up. Okay, um, there was a guy who made the horse runner and published it on BB Forum. He made it possible showing reward video with Hayzap, but how? Um, oh, 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 easy, let me show you real fast. Um, real fast, okay? So it, let's say you wanna do, um, just do like a reward video, I think. Let me see here, is it? If I choose reward video, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so right here, this is just, this is one example of how you use reward videos. You can also do reward videos for like, like let's say you wanna have a little icon in the corner of your game that's like pulsing and it's saying like, hey, watch an ad and you get 50 coins. And so you can set up your reward video for Hayzap and you just choose your network and it's right there, Hayzap. And booyah, it's done. Okay, so that's super, super easy. And you know what? This is, uh, it says K, uh, K Hayzap. And I don't know what's wrong with that K. I'm gonna talk to the development team and they're gonna get rid of that, so. Don't worry about that. That'll be fixed in the next update. I'll, I'll jump on that. Okay. So, anyways, so that's how you do. Uh, that's how you can do um, uh, do reward videos with Hayes app. Also, another thing, just letting you guys know, a lot of people like AdMob for reward videos. Okay. So there's a great uh, tutorial that Christoph put together um, on the forums, on the Billbox forum, and it's the App Odeal um, um, tutorial. And you can just hook up. So the nice part about App Odeal as versus Hayes app is App Odeal doesn't play its own ads. Okay, Hayzap plays its own ads. So whatever networks you hook up through Apodeal, it's just gonna play those networks. So if you want AdMob to play, if you want reward videos to play just for AdMob, then what you do is you set it up so that it is, um, so you set it up so that it is uh, just to have AdMob. And then, and then it'll run through Apodeal and then it'll just play AdMob for you for the reward videos. And you'll, a lot of people like that. Okay. Um, Canada, eh? Oh yeah. I'm sorry it bothers you. <laughs> okay. Wait, Canadians do too. Dang thing. Uh, I'm losing it. All right. I'm gonna look for the next question. So exactly how long have you had Buildbox? Oh, okay, that's some. For, that's somebody else. So you guys, some of you guys are just talking. Uh, <laughs> some of you guys are just talking to yourself. I can't post link to Discord server. Why not? 
I'll, you know what, man? I'll share the Game Jam link. Uh, I'm going to help. I'm going to take care of that. Um, <laughs> Gamer Chris, tackle hug from LeFay in Discord server. Dude, that's hilarious. People are giving me tackle hugs. All right, that's great. Yeah, I love it. Um, okay. Um, I'll help. I'll, I'll work with you, uh, Gamer Chris. I'll, uh, um, I'll, I'll work with you on getting that set up. The link to either the Game Jam or the uh, video, whichever one you're talking about, I'll help you out. Um, when is BB3 coming out? It is coming out as soon as we can. Not, I don't have an exact date on it. Sometime this summer, hopefully, if we can get it. Um, it might end up being a little bit later, like more towards uh, winter. So uh, it just kind of depends on how development goes. Um, now, Zach, can you do tutorials on how to make a dungeon and dragon? Hmm. I could put together a dungeon, like a platformer game or something like that. Like dungeon, I know. Okay, you want to see something cool? I love Dungeons and Dragons. You know, I'm gonna totally nerd out on you guys and just we'll do a little show and tell. Sorry, I gotta just, I gotta do this. This is awesome. One second. Okay. This is so nerdy. All right, I've got this bag of stuff. This is how much I love Dungeons and Dragons. I've got a full game set right here. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, baby. That's the good stuff. Got the player handbook, got the dungeon master guide. I got all, all, like, this whole bag is full of stuff to hold, like, to have a legit Dungeons and Dragons campaign. And I've only played, like, a, like, a few times with, like, a few groups and stuff like that. Where's my die? That's weird. There you are. Oh, yeah. Got all my dice right here. Ooh, the green screen kind of changes the color because it's got a little green in it. Trippy. Um, but yeah, I got like 20 sided die and stuff. All right, that's enough of that. I'm super, I'm the biggest nerd ever, but I love, I love D and D. So, um, I'll, yeah, you know what? Heck yeah. Dungeons and Dragons. I'll do it, but, um, it's going to have to be like a platformer. I'm going to have to do like a dungeon platformer game and then I'll have the dragon be like the main character. <coughs> Let me write that down. I love Dungeons and Dragons. So you kind of kind of struck a chord there um let me see here yeah dungeons and dragons dude that was a good call all right um okay yeah um game jam uh vision productions my fiance is a doctor in rome italy dude that's sick you know what i'm gonna try to make it to rome i don't know if i'm gonna be able to make it i'm gonna be in trieste uh i believe that's how you say it or trieste i can't i don't know how to pronounce it but um i'm gonna go see my friend aiden there for 10 days so i'll be in i'll be in italy for a while i might make my way over to rome um let me know uh you can uh you can totally hit me up and let me know if you if you um want to meet up or something i don't know if you're in and gonna be in italy but yeah I, i'm totally down to meet up with any um any boxers also i think i'm gonna do a meetup in san francisco in the city I'd, I'd really like to start meeting you guys in person um and start doing some game game development with you guys in person i'm gonna have like a meetup like once a week in san francisco or somewhere in the bay area we're located over here in the bay area so that it's got to be close um okay now let me get back Ah, let me check here. All right, just bought the plus version, but now I want to get to the, uh, get the pro version. Do I get my money back if I subscribe to the pro version now? Uh, basically, if here's how it works: if you have the plus version and then you want to go to the pro version, what ends up happening is we totally refund you the original money that you paid for the um, plus version, and then and then you get charged the amount for the pro version. But we will definitely refund you, so you won't get, you won't have to pay for both. Okay, that's ridiculous. Um. Um. So, yeah, okay, let me keep looking real fast. I'm, I lost my track here. Hey, Zach, uh, Zach is the only, why is Zach the only one doing tutorials? This job should have at least two people. No kidding, right? No, you know what, though? Uh, to, Trey, Trey teaches you how to do stuff, too. And, uh, and so, like, I think Trey's tutorials are, like, even, like, way more useful, too. I, th I, I mean, like... He has a lot of like experience working with publishers and the software. I mean, him and like 
you know, this is his company. So he has, uh, I, there's other people other than me that do tutorials as well, but I agree, I could probably use a little bit of help. It's a lot for one man to handle. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, Trey's people uh, is keeping people motivated. Exactly, dude. Trey's on, uh, Trey's handling, Trey, I, man, Trey and Nick do so much stuff. The whole team does a bunch of stuff. Sean uh, is our support guy, and so is Miko and Eric, but Sean's like the ringleader. He's like the support guru, and he's he's answering your guys' questions left and right all day in support. He's the one who helps you out with billing situations and stuff like that, so definitely give props to Sean the next time that you talk to him on so through support or through any emails because he's the man. Sean's the man. He he help, he's, he helps you out like crazy. When I was first starting, Sean helped me out like he might have helped me out more than anybody else. I, I love Sean. So definitely uh, give him some, you know, give him a little love when next time you talk to him. All right. Now, uh, Zach, bro, Zach. Trey is uh, busy keeping people motivated. Can you add something to the game like you can add your YouTube channel link? Um, yeah. Let's see here. Yes, you can. And let me answer that. Let me look it up. Give me a second. Let's take a look. Let's say you want to add something to your UI, or better yet, your game over UI. Let's say your character, um, your player just got to the game over uh, uh, UI, right? Game over, and you want to, you know, be like, hey, go to my YouTube channel, and you can make a game like this yourself, sort of thing, right? Uh, super cool. Let's do that right now. It's going to be a see if it's a navigate I don't think it's a navigation button pretty sure it's not um, no not navigation let me see here URL button why didn't I dude it's like staring me right in the face how did I not see that I'm blind okay I'm gonna delete the navigation button URL button right there uh, for you team Michael YT was the one who asked the question and you just put in your URL right there boodaloop, boodaloop, URL and so and you put a little button you know a little picture for your button probably a YouTube icon or something like that and then um, people can click it and they can go to your YouTube channel and they can subscribe to you and they can talk to you just like just like I'm talking to you right now all right cool so that's good answer that question now let's keep going um, I got 20 more minutes on this guys and then I gotta head out I got a couple other things I gotta do and then I'm gonna head home and I might go see infinity wars I uh, one more time dude I watched infinity wars yesterday it was so good oh my god I, I might go see it again all right um, so okay um, that's easy. Make it on the menu. You can already do that. Uh, Gamer Chris, I would check and work first time, but then wouldn't check again if you died after that. It would check and work first time on the 100 coins, but then it wouldn't check again if he died after that. Maybe you have to reset the coins. Try this, Gamer Chris. Um, can you? Can, I'm, I, I, let me answer this for you. Let me tr try this. Um, I don't know if you've seen this yet. I have a really like not good tutorial on this like somebody I just like whipped it out real fast uh, for like somebody like you know who's just asking me a question one day so I didn't do like a professional tutorial or anything like that but here's how you do it I think you can get away with this it there is something called um, score over here in the bottom right and I think you can do it with with resetting coins that might that might work I don't know. Now I kind of want you to send me the BB doc so I can take a look at it and mess around with it because now I'm super curious. Um, could you have that person send it into support so we can take a look at it? All right, and and tell them to mention me so that I know I so that I I might get it thrown my way. All right. Um, yeah, I, I'm really curious about it, but uh, I'll also share on Discord. I'll share a little tutorial that I did for Andy G um, on uh, resetting coins because that's a super it's a useful little thing. All right. That's for you, Gamer Chris. Um, Envision, um, I, Envision Productions. I was the first person to bring up the problem with AdMob uh, with HeyZab. I hope you guys can get that fixed. Dude, we've been working on it, man. It's just like, like I don't know what to say. To like, to, I don't know what to tell you. Like, HeyZab, it's, it's not us. It's not us. You know, you're doing, we don't have like a lot of HeyZab mediation support. Like, I teach you how to do it and stuff like that, but we have no control over how they mediate 
you know, and and how they hook up with their ad networks. So if they're having problems with AdMob, it's like kind of out of our hands, dude. And so uh, we'll, we'll work with them. I'll talk with them and see if we can get it fixed. I don't know though. To be honest with you, I've asked them to fix a couple other things too, and it's taken a while. But they're a great company. I, I, I love them. Fiber bought them, acquired them. So pretty soon they're not even going to be known as Hayes App anymore. Everybody's just going to be calling them Fiber. Okay. <clears throat> um. Oh no! Can I, I? I can't post a link to the Discord on here. Why not? Let me check it. Oh, give me a second. I'm going to post a link to the Discord here, guys. Give me a second. That's super weird. That's weird. Build box Discord. Let me see if the link will work. Why is it in an app? Discord app launched. Let me, let's try this, guys. Tell me if this link, this link I'm sending you guys right now works. Okay, I just sent it. Um, uh, that was for you, gamer Chris. Um. Can you add? Um, can you add so you can leave your YouTube channel? Yeah, I already answered that. Add mob and Hayes app is fine for me. Yeah, I, I see it's spotty. It's a little spotty. It's like hard to pin down. It's like it's sometimes it works for people and sometimes it doesn't. Hit that like button on Billbox and hit that subscribe button on Billbox. Thank you, brother. I will. Uh, or thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, everybody who, who's into this, definitely like and subscribe for sure. Yo, Zach, you can't put links in a stream chat unless you're uh, your owner or moderator. Oh, okay. No wonder. Got it. All right. Well, I just did. I just put a link for the Discord, guys. So link it up. Check it out. All right. Um, sorry, that took me so long. It's just there's a lot of messages here. I got to read it. Um, come on. Um, what the heck? Okay, like the game Soul Knight. It's on the App Store. Skull mixing game. Skull uh, skull mix game. I'm, uh, you, what, it's called what? It's called Soul Knight. Let me check that out. Check out Soul Knight. I'll do it, and I'll. I mean, there's a lot of tutorials, so I'll probably. It's gonna take a while to get to these. Okay. Um, wait, dungeons and. Okay, UX specialist. It actually gives me confidence in the company when I see your super nerdy stuff. It makes me think you guys are passionate and committed. Majora's Mask, D and D, right kind of people, dude. Exactly right. I'm. We are. We are as nerdy as it gets, and I, dude, I have this ridiculous mask, and uh, I also have a little action figure here. So, and you guys probably can't hear me through the mask, but yeah, this is. This is what Majora's Mask is like. Um, let me see if I can read here at the same time. Okay. Oh, wow. That's trippy. Yeah. I dig it. Okay. Let's see these questions. All right. So <laughs> let me pull it up. <laughs> oh, God. Um, D &D Dungeons and Dragons is an actual game. Dude, it is the game, man. There's like the only the coolest people play it. Like Stephen Colbert is into it, and like lots of. If you're nerdy, you're you're down for some D and D. Um, I thought it was a funny reference in TV shows. Oh my god, yeah, it's all good. Um, okay, can you get a link to your channel on Billbox? Let's see here. Ooh, my mask is gonna fall off. Okay, I'm gonna put the mask away. That was a little. That was a little silly. A little crazy okay but yeah the the answer to that though is yeah we're all nerds we're all we like to think of ourselves as cool nerds you know so uh, you know we're not just nerdy we're also pretty cool but probably not you're probably actually just pretty nerdy um that's okay though I embrace it I love it all right now um, support at buildbox.com yeah support at buildbox.com is the one you want to reach out um, yeah, Infinity Wars is sick, dude. Um, hi, having issue to upload to Android Studio. Don't worry, I'm, I'm taking care of that. Uh, but it's probably like in a week or two um, because it's, I'm probably going to get to it next weekend. This week, I'm going to do iOS. All right. Excuse me. Let's see here. All right. Um, what is the, what's the center of a UI? All right, let's, let's check that. Actually, that's a really good question. Like, what is the uh, pixel there for the center? Let me see here. So, position is 
here. Let me do a little, you know what, hold on. Okay, so that's seven. I'm looking. You know, I'm not sure. The exact middle is probably somewhere around like 320 or something like that. Here, you know what I'll do? This is perfect. Three twenty. Yeah, three twenty is the middle. Just so you guys know, in the middle of the uh, the middle of the UI, if you want to put something dead center, like right in the middle, then you want to use three twenty as your as your position marker. Okay, that's a good little test. Good question. Very. I love that question. I've I've often wondered that. Okay. Um, yeah, Haze app is called Fiber now. Um, can you add apps to your game and people can choose it? Um, yeah, I just don't know. I gotta, I gotta look that up. I gotta see if you can cross promote. Let me see. Cross promotion. Cross promote your apps. Cross promote apps. Good question again. I like that. How can you cross promote your apps? How can you like link up other apps uh, to your game? That's a good question. Um, okay, cool guys. Um, Discord uh, link is working. So if you guys want to sign up for Discord, um, then you're good. Um, Android Studios Complex, Gamer Chris, what if you do a tutorial, I can tell him to look it up. Uh, well, if you do a tutorial, I can tell him to look it up. Uh, I'll tell him now. Um, yeah, yeah, t yeah. Ask him to sen send it in. And then um, also, I'll try and like link up that tutorial. Like I said before, the, the tutorial that I sent to Andy G and he put on the old Buildbox forums, I'll make sure that it gets included on the Discord as well, all right? Um, can you put uh, can you put ads in games? Um, yeah, nerds, I love it. You guys are my people. You guys are this is my community right here. My my nerds, my fellow nerds. Um, how do you make two portals be reversible so they are each other's entry and exits? Oh, here I'll show you. It's good. It's good. Damn, you guys are you guys have great questions today. Let me show you on a platformer though. I I'd, I'd rather. Uh, um, I'd rather go over that with the platform preset, so just give me a second, okay? Blah, 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 blah. Come on, save. You got it. Mm, there you go, okay. So project saved, new platformer, or actually I'm gonna do open recent platformer, there you are. All right, let me show you how to make it. This is awesome. This is a great freaking question, okay? How can you make it so that the portals, you can go back and forth, back and forth, right? Um, so there is a way to do it. And it's awesome because like, let's say you wanted to make like that animation where a character is like, go, like Mario is going through a tube, right? And comes up and uh, out of a tube and into a tube and you can do it. You can go back and forth like that. If you had two tubes in the same scene and you're just going back and forth, it's awesome. Let me show you. Let me show you right now. All right, I'm going to move you just like this. I'm going to move the game frame over a little bit, and I'm also going to delete these two. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Logic, portal, drag that in. Portal, it is, um, we're going to do a search radius of 600, and then um, I don't think there's anything I need to worry about with the group ID. We'll do here, portal here, and portal here, and then what we'll, we'll do is I'll make it... Uh, Let's do an effect of a particle emitter. Bring those in right here. And I'll make one more particle emitter by pressing D on my keyboard and copying it over. All right, let's test this out. All right, so portal, and then you can't go through it again. Interesting. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Let's see here. Oh, what am I saying? Single use, I'm dumb. I just I have a single use checked on both of those. That's I'm an idiot. Just take just get rid of single use. God, the software is easy. Boom. Wait, come on. Delete object threshold. Let's see here. Delete input object. No, don't delete input object and search radius. 
Let's do a group ID of one. I don't even know. I think the group ID is actually going to mess it up because I think they need to have the same group ID. I might be wrong. Let's check this. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. The group ID messed it up. My bad. Okay, there it is. Okay. Now let's check it out. Ooh. Oh my word, what is happening? Oh my god, that is so cool. That is the wildest thing I've ever seen. Wow. I can't believe the software just handled that. I know what it is, the delete the input object. Um, here, you know what? I got an idea. Why don't we just have two uh, portals and uh, have it like this. Watch this, dude. Okay, so I'll do a second portal. I'll make this one be group ID, and I'll do it one. Okay, we'll make this one be exit only, and we're gonna have to make all of the uh, things have delete the input object. Okay, so now this one is gonna be exit only too. <clears throat> so this one's group ID one. All right, and this one's the exit only. All right, so it's gonna go back. All right, now this one. Uh, is also exit only, but it's group ID zero. So I'm gonna make one more. I'm gonna do the group ID of uh, of one, and it's not gonna be an exit only. Now, I should be able to go back and forth, no problem, with having a couple portals layered on top of each other. Let's see. Boom, ooh. Now I, now I see what's going on. It's uh, It keeps going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and it just goes on forever and ever. Hmm, this is a tricky one. How do I do this? I know it's possible. I mean, you can go through a portal once, that's obvious, but can you go, um, oh, can you go back and forth? Huh, let's try it. Let's shrink this down. Let's put them next to each other instead. It's not quite the same. But I want to try it. Shrink these down a little bit. Let's see if this works. I gotta be honest with you, I haven't done this before. I'm just trying it out. But I'm I think I'm getting close. I bet there's gotta be a way to do this. There's definitely a way to do this. And if and if I can't figure it out. Oh, it makes the character smaller. And it keeps going back and forth. Ah. That's not good. Let's go back. Control Z the heck out of this thing. <coughs> hmm. Come on. One is exit only, single use. Hmm. There's got to be a way so that once you, you can maybe even hook it up to an object. Hmm. Hmm. Let me, let me look that up. I'm, I'm taking too long to answer it. I was thinking I could be able, could be able to work it out, but I don't think I'm able to do it. No, not, 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 off, not on the fly. I got close. Let me, um, let me go ahead and do... Um, how can you portal to portal back and forth, back and forth? Okay, there we go. Good question, though. Damn, that's a good one. You kind of stumped me on that one. I'm a little upset. I'm a little upset by it. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn how to do it. I'm gonna put that up. Dude, Pablo and Zar, what's up, dude? I'm glad you're here. All right, guys, we got five more minutes. Five more minutes. So ask me, shoot off, man. Ask me anything you can. Uh, and then mods can't do anything, so they're getting uh, Trey to help. Oh, okay, cool. We're 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 figuring it out on Discord apparently. Let me go ahead and switch back to green screen because I know you guys love just seeing the ocean, just swaying in the breeze. Okay, I'm goofing off. All right. Um, 
Ghost Gamer, you can't in BB. There's got to be a way, man. I know there's a way. There's like a hack for everything in BB. I, I'll figure it out. Um, how do you make a game like Minecraft or Roblox? Uh, I can tell you. Um, you're going to be able to do it with BB3. Um, it, right now, you probably have to go with something, something like Unity or something like that. But eventually, BB3 will be, be able to handle a game like that, no problem. Um, okay. Um, let's see here. Um, hello stream Zach is it possible to control two characters on opposite directions at the same time okay let me think let me think about that is it possible to control two characters on opposite directions at the same time yes BB3 will have multiplayer no doubt for sure um, Zach Try putting an exit only a little bit on the outside so you you don't get in the loop immediately after coming out. Oh, 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 oh. Let's try it. Let's see. Let's see if I can do that. I'm an idiot. Instead of layering them on top of each other, why don't I just put them really close? That's a good question. That's a good uh, solution. Let's see if this works. I don't know. It's gonna be. It's gonna be close. I feel like I'm doing the setup wrong, though. Okay. The other thing that's going on is the the green game frames throwing me off. Let me move this back. Hmm. No, there's something going on here. Let me space them out just a little bit more. I bet it, that's actually really close to working. Yeah, but you can't go back. Once you go into, once you try to go back, you end up, uh, once you try to go back, you end up hitting the other portal again. So it would almost be like they have to be on top of each other. Ah, man, I'm gonna look that up. Let me let me work on that uh, so that I'm not wasting your guys' time. Um, okay, um, now, Pablo Nazar, you asked me something like, Zach, is it possible to control two characters on opposite directions, on opposite directions at the same time? Yes. Yes, there is, but I need more. I need more details. Like specifically, what do you want to do? Do you have one and a half character, one on the top and one on the bottom, going like this, or do you want to have a characters like going like this, opposite directions on other sides, um, something like that? Try to scale to negative one scale. You know what? I'm gonna work on this, guys, and I'll come back. I'll definitely come back. You have one exit on the inside. Oh, oh my gosh! Yes. Okay, exit on the inside. Exit only. Good night. Let's see if this works. Please work. Oh, dude. If this works, the exits have to go on the outside. Oh, man. This is going to work. I can feel it. There it is. And we have a winner, everybody. Exits go on the outside, and you can do portal to portal. Woohoo! Oh, my God. So glad that we figured that out together. Dude team team effort guys this is what I, this is what the community is all about this is exactly why we work together as a team and we and this is why it's so important because i was just spacing i was spacing on this i knew that we could do it but i was like blank i was like wait how do i do this um so good so i'm so happy with that you that you reminded me so there it is portals going back and forth boom 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 it looks awesome right doesn't that look cool okay cool dude I love the way we ended this session. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I am like, dude, I'm really happy right now. That was so much fun with you guys. Um, okay, so dev nights every every Thursday night. And then tomorrow, I'm doing one hour Q&A. Um, it's gonna be Buildbox live training, but it's just gonna be Q&A. And then look out for, um, look out for my um, video I'm gonna do on making a reward video. Or not a reward video, or like a little reward, um, 
button. So like basically you have like a little present icon with like maybe 10 coins or something written on there. So you can click it and then you get 10 coins and it disappears. I said that I was going to do that tutorial. I was going to try to fit it in today, but I could only I couldn't I couldn't make it happen. Um, so anyways, I'm going to head out guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you guys later. Have a good one. I'll see you on Discord or something like that, all right? See you guys later.